okay to continue on the mopping procedures. So again, before we mop, well actually we're gonna sweep and we're gonna pull all the tables out and mop. You'll notice that we don't put the furniture on the top of the tables like some restaurants do. We found that that damages the furniture excessively. So we'll keep them there and we'll just move the furniture, clean underneath it and move it back. It's easier than lifting it up actually. Okay, so we've talked about the mopping, uh, how to make sure you mop the edges around the sides. You're gonna start at the far end. You're gonna work your way down. And you're gonna make sure while you're mopping that you're actually putting some force on the mop, a little bit of push so it actually cleans. You don't wanna just glaze the floors and just get them wet, okay? And again, I'm getting the edges here up front. You see. All right, so I'm gonna do that all the way down. And if the rock, mop bucket water gets dirty, I'm gonna replace it. And you'll see here, you come back about every, you know, 10 feet or so, the mop is gonna get dirty after you've mopped, you know, about 10 feet. So you're gonna come back, rinse out the mop head. Try doing that. At least now if my mop head is clean again, I can go back and continue mopping. I wouldn't want to mop the whole place with the same mop head because you're just pushing the dirt from one spot to the other. Okay? And that's how you mop. I believe I've uh, covered... hope this video has helped you. And I hope you enjoy working here. Mopping is a small part of the job but someone's got to do it and it's part of a restaurant coffee shop business we got to keep it clean so i hope you have no objections to washing uh, dishes and mopping there is some of that in this job but it's not hard and i hope you enjoy this position thank you for listening <laughs>